Are turtles endangered? Worldwide turtle populations have declined due to several reasons. Including habitat destruction, exploitation of species by humans for their eggs, leather, and meat, and they're becoming accidentally caught in the nets of fishermen. In particular danger are sea turtles, such as Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Lepidoshellus kempii, which is believed to have a population of only a few hundred. Other threatened species include the Central American river turtle, Dermatemis mewii. The green sea turtle, Chelonia mitas, the leatherback sea turtle, Geochelone inifora, the desert tortoise. Gophera sagacezii, and the Galapagos tortoise. Geochelone elephant opus. Source, U.S. Are tortoises and terrapins the same as turtles? The terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin are used for various members of the order Testudinas. From the Latin term testudo, meaning tortoise. In North American usage they are all correctly called turtles. The term tortoise is often used for land turtles. In British usage the term tortoise is the inclusive term and turtle is only applied to aquatic members of the order. Do male mosquitoes bite humans? No. Male mosquitoes live on plant juices, sugary saps, and liquids arising from decomposition. They do not have a biting mouth that can penetrate human skin as female mosquitoes do. In some species the females, who lay as many as 200 eggs, need blood to lay their eggs. These are the species that bite humans and other animals. How often is the epithelium replaced? Epithelial cells are constantly being replaced and regenerated during an animal's lifetime. The epidermis, outer layer of the skin, is renewed every two weeks. While the epithelial lining of the stomach is replaced every two to three days. The liver, a gland consisting of epithelial tissue, easily regenerates after portions are removed surgically. How often is the epithelium replaced? Epithelial cells are constantly being replaced and regenerated during an animal's lifetime. The epidermis, outer layer of the skin, is renewed every two weeks. While the epithelial lining of the stomach is replaced every two to three days. The liver, a gland consisting of epithelial tissue easily regenerates after portions are removed surgically.
What is the unique characteristic of connective tissue? The cells of connective tissue are spaced widely apart and are scattered through a non-living extracellular material called a matrix. The matrix may be a liquid, jelly, or solid and varies in the different types of connective tissue. What is the unique characteristic of connective tissue? The cells of connective tissue are spaced widely apart and are scattered through a non-living extracellular material called a matrix. The matrix may be a liquid, jelly, or solid and varies in the different types of connective tissue. What are the major types of connective tissue and their function? The major types of connective tissue are, 1, loose connective tissue, 2, adipose tissue, 3, blood, 4, collagen, sometimes called fibrous or dense connective tissue, 5, cartilage, and 6, bone. Loose connective tissue is a mass of widely scattered cells whose matrix is a loose weave of fibers. Many of the fibers are strong protein fibers called collagen. Loose connective tissue is found beneath the skin and between organs. It is a binding and packing material whose main purpose is to provide support to hold other tissues and organs in place. Adipose tissue consists of adipose cells in loose connective tissue. Each adipose cell stores a large droplet of fat that swells when fat is stored and shrinks when fat is used to provide energy. Adipose tissue pads and insulates the animal body. Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and thrombocytes, or platelets, which are pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. Blood transports substances from one part of the body to another. And plays an important role in the immune system of the animal. Collagen, from the Greek kala, meaning glue, and genos, meaning descent. Is a dense connective tissue, also known as fibrous connective tissue. It has a matrix of densely packed collagen fibers. There are two types of collagen, regular and irregular. The collagen fibers of regular dense connective tissue are lined up in parallel. Tendons, which bind muscle to bone, and ligaments which join bones together, are examples of dense regular connective tissue. The strong covering of various organs, such as kidneys and muscle, is dense irregular connective tissue. Cartilage, from the Latin cartilago, meaning gristle, is a connective tissue with an abundant number of collagen fibers in a rubbery matrix. 
is both strong and flexible. Cartilage provides support and cushioning. It is found between the discs of the vertebrae in the spine. Surrounding the ends of joints such as knees, and in the nose and ears. Bone is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. It is the hardest tissue in the body, although it is not brittle. Most of the skeletal system is comprised of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. What are the major types of connective tissue and their function? The major types of connective tissue are, 1, loose connective tissue, 2, adipose tissue, 3, blood, 4, collagen, sometimes called fibrous or dense connective tissue, 5, cartilage, and 6, bone. Loose connective tissue is a mass of widely scattered cells whose matrix is a loose weave of fibers. Many of the fibers are strong protein fibers called collagen. Loose connective tissue is found beneath the skin and between organs. It is a binding and packing material whose main purpose is to provide support to hold other tissues and organs in place. Adipose tissue consists of adipose cells in loose connective tissue. Each adipose cell stores a large droplet of fat that swells when fat is stored and shrinks when fat is used to provide energy. Adipose tissue pads and insulates the animal body. Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells leukocytes and thrombocytes or platelets which are pieces of bone marrow cell plasma also contains water salts sugars lipids and amino acids blood is approximately 55 percent plasma and 45 percent formed elements blood transports substances from one part of the body to another and plays an important role in the immune system of the animal. Collagen, from the Greek kala, meaning glue, and genos, meaning descent, is a dense connective tissue, also known as fibrous connective tissue. It has a matrix of densely packed collagen fibers. There are two types of collagen, regular and irregular. The collagen fibers of regular dense connective tissue are lined up in parallel. Tendons, which bind muscle to bone, and ligaments, which join bones together, are examples of dense regular connective tissue. The strong covering of various organs, such as kidneys and muscle, is dense irregular connective tissue. Cartilage, from the Latin cartilago, meaning gristle, is a connective tissue with an abundant number of collagen fibers in a rubbery matrix. It is both strong and flexible. Cartilage provides support and cushioning. It is found between the discs of the vertebrae in the spine. Surrounding the ends of joints such as knees, and in the nose and ears. Bone is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. 
it is the hardest tissue in the body, although it is not brittle. Most of the skeletal system is comprised of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. How does brown fat differ from white fat? Many mammals have both brown adipose tissue and white adipose tissue. They are both triglyceride lipids, but brown fat tissue has the ability to generate heat. Although called brown, it varies in color from dark red to tan, reflecting lipid content. It is most commonly found in newborn animals and in most species disappears by adulthood. How does brown fat differ from white fat? Many mammals have both brown adipose tissue and white adipose tissue. They are both triglyceride lipids, but brown fat tissue has the ability to generate heat. Although called brown, it varies in color from dark red to tan, reflecting lipid content. It is most commonly found in newborn animals and in most species disappears by adulthood. Which group of animals has exceptionally well-developed brown fat? Mammalian hibernators have exceptionally well-developed brown fat. Some scientists even refer to it as the hibernation gland. The supply of brown fat is used during the winter months when the animal hibernates and is built up during the spring and summer. Brown fat is important in the revarmaying process that the animal undergoes after hibernation. Which group of animals has exceptionally well-developed brown fat? Mammalian hibernators have exceptionally well-developed brown fat. Some scientists even refer to it as the hibernation gland. The supply of brown fat is used during the winter months when the animal hibernates and is built up during the spring and summer. Brown fat is important in the revarmaying process that the animal undergoes after hibernation. How many types of muscle tissue are found in vertebrates, and what is the function of muscle tissue? Vertebrates have three types of muscle tissue, one, smooth, two, skeletal, and three, cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers. Provides the capability of movement for the organism or for the movement of substances within the body of the organism. How many types of muscle tissue are found in vertebrates, and what is the function of muscle tissue?
Vertebrates have three types of muscle tissue, 1, smooth, 2, skeletal, and 3, cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers. Provides the capability of movement for the organism or for the movement of substances within the body of the organism. What are the differences between smooth, skeletal, and cardiac muscle tissue? Smooth muscle tissue is organized into sheets of long cells shaped like spindles. Each cell contains a single nucleus. Smooth muscle tissue lines the walls of the digestive tract. Stomach and intestines, blood vessels, urinary bladder, and iris of the eye. Smooth muscle contraction is involuntary since it occurs without intervention of the animal. Skeletal muscle tissue consists of numerous, very long muscle fibers that lie parallel to each other. Since the muscle fibers are formed by the fusion of several muscle cells. Each long fiber has many nuclei. Muscle fibers have alternating light and dark bands, giving the appearance of a striped or striated fiber. Tendons attach skeletal muscles to the bone. When skeletal muscles contract, they cause the bone to move at the joint. Skeletal muscles are voluntary since the animal consciously contracts them. Skeletal muscles allow animals to move, lift, and utter sounds. Cardiac muscle tissue is found in the hearts of vertebrates. It consists of striated muscle fibers like skeletal. Muscle tissue but is involuntary like smooth muscle tissue. The cardiac muscle tissue consists of small, interconnected cells, each with a single nucleus. The ends of the cells form a tight latticework. Allowing signals to spread from cell to cell and causing the heart to contract. What are the differences between smooth, skeletal, and cardiac muscle tissue? Smooth muscle tissue is organized into sheets of long cells shaped like spindles. Each cell contains a single nucleus. Smooth muscle tissue lines the walls of the digestive tract. Stomach and intestines, blood vessels, urinary bladder, and iris of the eye. Smooth muscle contraction is involuntary since it occurs without intervention of the animal. Skeletal muscle tissue consists of numerous, very long muscle fibers that lie parallel to each other. Since the muscle fibers are formed by the fusion of several muscle cells. Each long fiber has many nuclei. Muscle fibers have alternating light and dark bands, giving the appearance of a striped or striated fiber. Tendons attach skeletal muscles to the bone. When skeletal muscles contract, they cause the bone to move at the joint. Skeletal muscles are voluntary since the animal consciously contracts them. Skeletal muscles allow animals to move, lift, and utter sounds. Cardiac muscle tissue is found in the hearts of vertebrates. It consists of striated muscle fibers like skeletal. Muscle tissue but is involuntary like smooth muscle tissue. 
The cardiac muscle tissue consists of small, interconnected cells, each with a single nucleus. The ends of the cells form a tight latticework. Allowing signals to spread from cell to cell and causing the heart to contract. Does exercise increase the number of muscle cells? Exercise does not increase the number of muscle cells. Adult animals have a fixed number of skeletal muscle cells. Exercise, however, does enlarge existing skeletal muscle cells. Does exercise increase the number of muscle cells? Exercise does not increase the number of muscle cells. Adult animals have a fixed number of skeletal muscle cells. Exercise, however, does enlarge existing skeletal muscle cells. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body containing a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Other cells in nerve tissue nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body containing a nucleus and Two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Other cells in nerve tissue nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. How many different types of neurons are found in nerve tissue? There are three main types of neurons sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons, also called association neurons. Sensory neurons conduct impulses from sensory organs, eyes, ears, surface of the skin, into the central nervous system. Motor neurons conduct impulses from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Interneurons are neither sensory neurons nor motor neurons. 
they permit elaborate processing of information to generate complex behaviors. Interneurons comprise the majority of neurons in the central nervous system. How many different types of neurons are found in nerve tissue? There are three main types of neurons, sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons, also called association neurons. Sensory neurons conduct impulses from sensory organs, eyes, ears, surface of the skin, into the central nervous system. Motor neurons conduct impulses from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Interneurons are neither sensory neurons nor motor neurons. They permit elaborate processing of information to generate complex behaviors. Interneurons comprise the majority of neurons in the central nervous system. What is the function of nerve tissue? Nerve tissue serves as the communication system of an animal. Nerve tissue allows an animal to receive stimuli from its environment and to relay an appropriate response. What is the function of nerve tissue? Nerve tissue serves as the communication system of an animal. Nerve tissue allows an animal to receive stimuli from its environment and to relay an appropriate response. What is an organ? An organ is a group of several different tissues working together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles. What is an organ? An organ is a group of several different tissues working together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles.
Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in the deserts of North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil. And it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 in, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles. The Chinese desert cat, Felis biotis, does not live in the desert as its name implies. But inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Felis sylvestris or Nata. Inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia. What is the only American canine that can climb trees? The gray fox, Eurocean scenario Argentus, is the only American canine that can climb trees. In what year was the European starling, Sternus vulgans wingspan, imported into the United States? Eugene Schieffelin, 1826-1906, imported the European starling into the United States in 1890. Schieffelin wanted to establish in the United States every bird found in Shakespeare's works. He also imported English sparrows to New York City in 1860. What is the only four-horned animal in the world? The four-horned antelope, Tetracerus quadricornis, is a native of central India. The males have two short horns, usually four in, ten centimeters, in length, between their ears. And an even shorter pair, one to two in, 2.5 to 5 centimeters, long, between the brow ridges over their eyes. Not all males have four horns. And in some the second pair eventually falls off. The females have no horns at all. What is the name of the seal-like animal in Florida? The West Indian manatee, Trechus manatus, in the winter, moves to more temperate parts of Florida, such as the warm headwaters of the Crystal and Homosassa. 271 rivers in central Florida or the tropical waters of southern Florida. When the air temperature rises to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius, it will wander back along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic Coast as far as Virginia. 
long-range offshore migrations to the coast of Guyana and South America have been documented. In 1983, when the population of manatees in Florida was reduced to several thousand. The state gave it legal protection from being hunted or commercially exploited. However, many animals continue to be killed or injured by the encroachment of humans. Entrapment in locks and dams, collisions with barges and power boat propellers. And so on cause at least 30% of manatee deaths, which total 125 to 130 annually. What is the most destructive insect in the world? The most destructive insect is the desert locust, Schistosaura gregaria. The locust of the Bible, whose habitat ranges from the dry and semi-arid regions of Africa and the Middle East through Pakistan and northern India. This shorthorn grasshopper can eat its own weight in food a day. And during long migratory flights a large swarm can consume 20,000 tons, 18,144,000 kilograms, of grain and vegetation a day. Which group of animals has exceptionally well-developed brown fat? Mammalian hibernators have exceptionally well-developed brown fat. Some scientists even refer to it as the hibernation gland. The supply of brown fat is used during the winter months when the animal hibernates and is built up during the spring and summer. Brown fat is important in the revarmaying process that the animal undergoes after hibernation. How is the light in fireflies produced? The light produced by fireflies, fought inus pyroles, or lightning bugs, is a kind of heatless light called bioluminescence. It is caused by a chemical reaction in which the substance Luciferin undergoes oxidation when the enzyme luciferase is present. The flash is a photon of visible light that radiates when the oxidating chemicals produce a high energy state, which then reverts back to the normal state. The flashing is controlled by the nervous system and takes place in special cells called photocytes. The nervous system, photocytes, and the tracheal end organs control the flashing rate. The air temperature also seems to be correlated with the flashing rate. The higher the temperature, the shorter the interval between flashes 8 seconds at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. 18.3 degrees Celsius and 4 seconds at 82 degrees Fahrenheit 27.7 degrees Celsius. Scientists are uncertain as to why this flashing occurs. The rhythmic flashes could be a means of attracting prey or enabling mating fireflies to signal in heliographic codes that differ from one species to another, or they could serve as a warning signal. Which bear lives in a tropical rainforest?
The Malayan sun bear, Ursus malayanus, is one of the rarest animals in the tropical forests of Sumatra. The Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Burma, Thailand, and southern China. The smallest bear species, with a length of 3.3 to 4.6 feet, 1 to 1.4 m. And weighing 60 to 143 pounds, 27 to 65 kilograms, it has a strong, stocky body. Against its black, short fur it has a characteristic orange-yellow colored crescent across its chest. Which according to legend represents the rising sun. With powerful paws having long. Curved claws to help it climb trees in the dense forests, it is an expert tree climber. The sun bear tears at tree bark to expose insects, larvae, and the nests of bees and termites. Fruit, coconut palms, and small rodents are also part of its diet. Sleeping and sunbathing during the day, it is active at night. Unusually shy and retiring, cautious, and intelligent. The sun bear is declining in population as its native forests are being destroyed. Do camels store water in their humps? The hump or humps do not store water, since they are fat reservoirs. The ability to go long periods without drinking water, up to 10 months if there is plenty. Of green vegetation and due to feed on, results from a number of physiological adaptations. One major factor is that camels can lose up to 40% of their body weight with no ill effects. A camel can also withstand a variation of its body temperature by as much as 14 degrees Fahrenheit 8 degrees Celsius. A camel can drink 30 gallons, 113.5 liters of water in 10 minutes and up to 50 gallons, 189 liters, over several hours. A one-humped camel is called a dromedary or Arabian camel. A Bactrian camel has two humps and lives in the wild on the Goba Desert. Today, the Bactrian is confined to Asia, while most of the Arabian camels are on African soil. What are killer bees? Africanized honeybees the term entomologists prefer rather than killer bees are a hybrid originating in Brazil. Where African honeybees were imported in 1956. The breeders hoping to produce a bee better suited to producing more honey in the tropics. Instead found that African bees soon hybridized with and mostly displaced the familiar European honey bees. Although they produce more honey, Africanized honey bees, Apis mellifer scutellata, also are more dangerous than European bees because they attack intruders in greater numbers. Since their introduction they have been responsible for approximately 1,000 human deaths. In addition to such safety issues, concern is growing regarding the effect of possible hybridization on the U.S. beekeeping industry. In October 1990 the bees crossed the Mexican border into the United States. They reached Arizona in 1993. In 1996, 
six years after their arrival in the United States. Africanized honeybees could be found in parts of Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, and California. Their migration northward has slowed. Partially because they are a tropical insect and cannot live in colder climates. Experts have suggested two possible ways of limiting the spread of the Africanized honeybees. The first is drone flooding, a process by which large numbers of European drones are kept in areas where commercially reared European queen bees mate, thereby ensuring that only limited mating occurs between Africanized drones and European queens. The second method is frequent requeening. In which a beekeeper replaces a colony's queen with one of his or her own choosing. The beekeeper can then be assured that the queens are European and that they have already mated with European drones. What freshwater mammal is venomous? The male duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, has venomous spurs located on its hind legs. When threatened, the animal will drive the spurs into the skin of a potential enemy. Inflicting a painful sting. The venom this action releases is relatively mild and generally not harmful to humans. What is an organ? An organ is a group of several different tissues working together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles. What are some beneficial insects? Beneficial insects include bees, wasps, flies, butterflies, moths, and others that pollinate plants. Many fruits and vegetables depend on insect pollinators for the production of seeds. Insects are an important source of food for birds, fishes, and many animals. In some countries such insects as termites, caterpillars, ants, and bees are eaten as food by people. Products derived from insects include honey and beeswax, shellac, and silk. Some predators such as mantises, ladybugs, or lady beetles, and lacewings feed on other harmful insects. Other helpful insects are parasites that live on or in the body of harmful insects. For example, some wasps lay their eggs in caterpillars that damage tomato plants. What are the stages of insect metamorphosis?
there are two types of metamorphoses. Mark structural changes in the growth processes complete and incomplete. In complete metamorphosis the insect, such as an ant, moth, butterfly, termite, wasp, or beetle, goes through all the distinct stages of growth to reach adulthood. In incomplete metamorphosis the insect, such as a grasshopper, cricket, or louse, does not go through all the stages of complete metamorphoses. Complete metamorphosis. Egg. One egg is laid at a time or many, as much as 10,000. Larva, what hatches from the eggs is called a larva. A larva can look like a worm. Pupa. After reaching its full growth, the larva hibernates. Developing a shell or pupil case for protection. A few insects, example the moth, spin a hard covering called a cocoon. The resting insect is called a pupa, except the butterfly is called a chrysalis. And remains in the hibernation state for several weeks or months. Adult, during hibernation, the insect develops its adult body parts. When it has matured physically, the fully grown insect emerges from its case or cocoon. Incomplete metamorphosis. Egg. One egg or many eggs are laid. Early stage nymph, hatched insect resembles an adult but is smaller in size. However, those insects that would normally have wings have not yet developed them. Late stage nymph, at this time the skin begins to mold, shed, and the wings begin to bud. Adult, the insect is now fully grown. Why are insects often found in amber? People have long been infatuated with amber, the fossilized form of ancient tree resin. A semi-precious stone used for jewelry and mosaics. Amber from the Dominican Republic contains an average of one insect in every hundred pieces. Some pieces of amber contain thousands of insects both whole insects and insect fragments. These insects were probably crawling or lodged on the outside of a tree. About 30 million years ago and became trapped by a glob of sticky tree resin which continued to ooze around the animal matter and eventually fossilized. Scientists are able to study these insects. Many of which are extinct but may turn out to be missing links to modern day species. Will wild birds reject baby birds that have been touched by humans? No. Contrary to popular belief, birds generally will not reject hatchlings touched by human hands. The best thing to do for newborn birds that have fallen or have been pushed out of the nest is to locate the nest as quickly as possible and gently put them back. How does brown fat differ from white fat? Many mammals have both brown adipose tissue and white adipose tissue. 
They are both triglyceride lipids, but brown fat tissue has the ability to generate heat. Although called brown, it varies in color from dark red to tan, reflecting lipid content. It is most commonly found in newborn animals and in most species disappears by adulthood. How do the great whales compare in weight and length? What is the fastest swimming whale? The orca or killer whale, or sinus orca, is the fastest swimming whale. In fact, it is the fastest swimming marine mammal with speeds that reach 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body containing a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Other cells in nerve tissue nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. What are migratory beekeepers? A migratory beekeeper is a person who transports his or her bee colonies to different areas to produce better honey or to collect fees for pollinating such crops as fruit trees, almonds, and alfalfa. The beekeepers frequently travel north in the spring and summer to pollinate crops and then back south in the fall and winter to maintain the colonies in the warmer southern weather. Approximately 1,000 migratory beekeepers operate in the United States. Transporting approximately 2 million bee colonies a year. What is the most popular state insect? The honeybee is by far the most popular state insect, having been selected by 16 states, Arkansas, California, nicknamed the Beehive State, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Tennessee, Vermont, and Wisconsin. What is the difference between porpoises and dolphins? Marine dolphins, family Delphinidae, and porpoises, family Phocinidae, together comprise about 40 species. The chief differences between dolphins and porpoises occur in the snout and teeth. True dolphins have a beak-like snout and cone-shaped teeth. True porpoises have a rounded snout and flat or spade-shaped teeth.
How often is the epithelium replaced? Epithelial cells are constantly being replaced and regenerated during an animal's lifetime. The epidermis, outer layer of the skin, is renewed every two weeks. While the epithelial lining of the stomach is replaced every two to three days. The liver, a gland consisting of epithelial tissue. Easily regenerates after portions are removed surgically. What are the major types of connective tissue and their function? The major types of connective tissue are, 1, loose connective tissue, 2, adipose tissue, 3, blood, 4, collagen, sometimes called fibrous or dense connective tissue, 5, cartilage, and 6, bone. Loose connective tissue is a mass of widely scattered cells whose matrix is a loose weave of fibers. Many of the fibers are strong protein fibers called collagen. Loose connective tissue is found beneath the skin and between organs. It is a binding and packing material whose main purpose is to provide support to hold other tissues and organs in place. Adipose tissue consists of adipose cells in loose connective tissue. Each adipose cell stores a large droplet of fat that swells when fat is stored and shrinks when fat is used to provide energy. Adipose tissue pads and insulates the animal body. Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and thrombocytes, or platelets, which are pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. Blood transports substances from one part of the body to another and plays an important role in the immune system of the animal. Collagen, from the Greek kala, meaning glue, and genos, meaning descent. Is a dense connective tissue, also known as fibrous connective tissue. It has a matrix of densely packed collagen fibers. There are two types of collagen, regular and irregular. The collagen fibers of regular dense connective tissue are lined up in parallel. Tendons, which bind muscle to bone, and ligaments which join bones together, are examples of dense regular connective tissue. The strong covering of various organs, such as kidneys and muscle, is dense irregular connective tissue. Cartilage, from the Latin cartilago, meaning gristle, is a connective tissue with an abundant number of collagen fibers in a rubbery matrix. It is both strong and flexible. Cartilage provides support and cushioning. It is found between the discs of the vertebrae in the spine. Surrounding the ends of joints such as knees, and in the nose and ears. Bone is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. 
it is the hardest tissue in the body, although it is not brittle. Most of the skeletal system is comprised of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. How many different types of neurons are found in nerve tissue? There are three main types of neurons, sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons, also called association neurons. Sensory neurons conduct impulses from sensory organs, eyes, ears, surface of the skin, into the central nervous system. Motor neurons conduct impulses from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Interneurons are neither sensory neurons nor motor neurons. They permit elaborate processing of information to generate complex behaviors. Interneurons comprise the majority of neurons in the central nervous system. How many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey? Bees must gather 4 pounds 18 kilograms of nectar, which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers. In order to produce 1 pound, 454 g, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is 3 to 6 weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. How many types of muscle tissue are found in vertebrates, and what is the function of muscle tissue? Vertebrates have three types of muscle tissue, one, smooth, two, skeletal, and three, cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers, provides the capability of movement for the organism or for the movement of substances within the body of the organism. What is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America? The bison, bison bison, is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America. It weighs 3,100 pounds 1,406 kilograms and is 6 feet 1.8 meters high. Does exercise increase the number of muscle cells? Exercise does not increase the number of muscle cells. Adult animals have a fixed number of skeletal muscle cells. Exercise, however, does enlarge existing skeletal muscle cells. What are the differences between smooth, skeletal, and cardiac muscle tissue? Smooth muscle tissue is organized into sheets of long cells shaped like spindles. 
Each cell contains a single nucleus. Smooth muscle tissue lines the walls of the digestive tract. Stomach and intestines, blood vessels, urinary bladder, and iris of the eye. Smooth muscle contraction is involuntary since it occurs without intervention of the animal. Skeletal muscle tissue consists of numerous, very long muscle fibers that lie parallel to each other. Since the muscle fibers are formed by the fusion of several muscle cells. Each long fiber has many nuclei. Muscle fibers have alternating light and dark bands, giving the appearance of a striped or striated fiber. Tendons attach skeletal muscles to the bone. When skeletal muscles contract, they cause the bone to move at the joint. Skeletal muscles are voluntary since the animal consciously contracts them. Skeletal muscles allow animals to move, lift, and utter sounds. Cardiac muscle tissue is found in the hearts of vertebrates. It consists of striated muscle fibers like skeletal muscle tissue but is involuntary like smooth muscle tissue. The cardiac muscle tissue consists of small, interconnected cells, each with a single nucleus. The ends of the cells form a tight latticework. Allowing signals to spread from cell to cell and causing the heart to contract. Do termites have any natural predators? Birds, ants, spiders, lizards, and dragonflies have been seen preying on young. Winged termites when they emerge and fly from a home colony to establish new colonies. Termites are generally most vulnerable to predators when they emerge from their home colony. Chimpanzees are also known to use sticks as tools to forage for termites. Who introduced the gypsy moth into the United States? In 1869 Professor Leopold Trevelyat. 1827 to 1895, brought gypsy moth egg masses from France to Medford, Massachusetts. His intention was to breed the gypsy moth with the silkworm to overcome a wilt disease of the silkworm. He placed the egg masses on a window ledge, and evidently the wind blew them away. About ten years later these caterpillars were numerous on trees in that vicinity. And in twenty years trees in eastern Massachusetts were being defoliated. In 1911 a contaminated plant shipment from Holland also introduced the gypsy moth to Massachusetts. These pests have now spread to 25 states, especially in the northeastern United States. Scattered locations in Michigan and Oregon have also reported occurrences of gypsy moth infestations. The gypsy moth, Porthetria dispar, lays its eggs on the leaves of oaks. Birches, maples, and other hardwood trees. When the yellow hairy caterpillars hatch from the eggs. They devour the leaves in such quantities that the tree becomes temporarily defoliated. Sometimes this causes the tree to die. The caterpillars grow from 0.5 in, 3 mm, to about 2 in, 5.1 cm. 
before they spin a pupa, in which they will metamorphose into adult moths. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this serious insect pest. Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth. Two flies Compis luricincinata, a tachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. What is the function of nerve tissue? Nerve tissue serves as the communication system of an animal. Nerve tissue allows an animal to receive stimuli from its environment and to relay an appropriate response. What is the unique characteristic of connective tissue? The cells of connective tissue are spaced widely apart and are scattered through a non-living extracellular material called a matrix. The matrix may be a liquid, jelly, or solid and varies in the different types of connective tissue. What is an organ system? An organ system is a group of organs working together to perform a vital body function. Vertebrate animals have 12 major organ systems. What is an organ system? An organ system is a group of organs working together to perform a vital body function. Vertebrate animals have 12 major organ systems. What are the steps of food processing for animals? The first step is for animals to ingest food. The food is then broken down via the digestive process. Into molecules that the organism can absorb for energy. Once the food is digested, it is absorbed through the digestive tract to provide energy for the organism. The final step of food processing is elimination. During elimination, undigested material is passed out of the digestive tract. What are the steps of food processing for animals? The first step is for animals to ingest food. The food is then broken down via the digestive process. Into molecules that the organism can absorb for energy. 
Once the food is digested, it is absorbed through the digestive tract to provide energy for the organism. The final step of food processing is elimination. During elimination, undigested material is passed out of the digestive tract. How are animals classified based on what they eat? Animals are classified based on whether they eat plants, other animals, or a combination of both. Animals that eat only plant matter are called herbivores. From the Latin herba, meaning green crop, and vorus, meaning devouring. Examples of herbivores are cattle, deer, and many aquatic species that eat algae. Animals that eat other animals are called carnivores. From the Latin carn, meaning flesh, and vorus, meaning devouring. Lions, sharks, snakes, and hawks are examples of carnivores. Animals that eat both plants and other animals are called omnivores. From the Latin omnis, meaning all and vorus, meaning devouring. Humans, crows, and raccoons are examples of omnivores. How are animals classified based on what they eat? Animals are classified based on whether they eat plants, other animals, or a combination of both. Animals that eat only plant matter are called herbivores. From the Latin herba, meaning green crop, and vorus, meaning devouring. Examples of herbivores are cattle, deer, and many aquatic species that eat algae. Animals that eat other animals are called carnivores. From the Latin carn, meaning flesh, and vorus, meaning devouring. Lions, sharks, snakes, and hawks are examples of carnivores. Animals that eat both plants and other animals are called omnivores. From the Latin omnis, meaning all and vorus, meaning devouring. Humans, crows, and raccoons are examples of omnivores. How does the dentition of animals reflect their diet? Herbivores have sharp incisors to bite off blades of grass and other plant matter. They also have a system of flat premolas and molars for grinding and crushing grasses and plant matter. Carnivores have pointed incisors and enlarged canine teeth to tear off pieces of meat. Their premolas and molars are jagged to aid in chewing flesh. Omnivores have non-specialized teeth to accommodate a diet of both plant material and animals. How does the dentition of animals reflect their diet? Herbivores have sharp incisors to bite off blades of grass and other plant matter. They also have a system of flat premolas and molars for grinding and crushing grasses and plant matter. 
Carnivores have pointed incisors and enlarged canine teeth to tear off pieces of meat. Their premolas and molars are jagged to aid in chewing flesh. Omnivores have non-specialized teeth to accommodate a diet of both plant material and animals. How do continuous feeders differ from discontinuous feeders? Continuous feeders, also known as filter feeders, are aquatic animals that constantly feed by having water filled with food particles, e. g. small plankton, or fishes, entering through the mouth. Continuous feeders do not need a storage area, such as a stomach, for food. Discontinuous feeders must hunt for food on a regular basis. They need a storage area to house food until it is digested. How do continuous feeders differ from discontinuous feeders? Continuous feeders, also known as filter feeders, are aquatic animals that constantly feed by having water filled with food particles, e. g. small plankton, or fishes, entering through the mouth. Continuous feeders do not need a storage area, such as a stomach, for food. Discontinuous feeders must hunt for food on a regular basis. They need a storage area to house food until it is digested.